Huh. Wrong species. Man, we should have had dinner tonight. Yeah. You might have to tell the locals where you're catching them. They might be happy with you. Yeah. Hello, sports fans, and welcome back to the 35th season of Fishing University. I'm Ben Ballou, and Charlie and I could not be any more tickled to be down here in Deland, Florida. We're fishing the St. John's River out of Highland Park Fish Camp. Today, we'll be filming with Mark Pizer, owner of Trick Step, and NPFL pro Mike Como. We're really excited to get out there and catch some of those Florida bass. Y'all stay tuned. Got you one, Mark. Mark, I got one by golly. Sure does. Beats nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it'll keep. <laughs> Not much. MLF 12 incher. <laughs> what do you weigh? 103. Oh, Bajan. Look at her. Got him. Yeah. Okay. First of the day. 103. That took a minute. It did. <laughs> a long minute. 103. Got him? Yeah. Or you got me. You need net? No. You wrapped around your pole. I see that. I got it. Don't have to worry about that. I don't think he'll make a trip. What do you do with the scale? Huh? What'd you uh, do? We ain't gonna weigh that, are we? Nah. It's a fish. I know it's a fish, but we ain't gonna weigh that. Have my pliers, if you would. Oh. Hey, that's a pretty good one, too. Yeah, it was. Dad Gummy had it forever. Dad Gum. Didn't have it. He got it again. Here, kid. No, he don't. Yeah, he does. Where's he got him that time? Is that a wagon? Yeah, it's pretty good. Might be a mudfish. Is it? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> good old mudfish. <laughs> Self-released. Thank goodness. <laughs> Got plumb on the boat on me. Easy. 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 Come here, little buddy. I'm gonna get back here, Mr. Mike. All right. Quit jumping around. We little bitty, but you know what? We on the board this morning. There you go. It's a keeper, right? Maybe he's a pound. He swallowed that sinker. 0.99. Well. So we were right at a pound. We're gonna put him on the board anyways. I'm not real proud of him, but. Well, it's a start. As, tu as tough as it's been, I'm pretty proud of him. Oh, yeah, there is his nose right there, Ben. See him? There's yeah. two of them. Two of them. Golly, what an animal. That is cool. Did you see the size of the tail on yeah. that thing? That's why they can really swim a long way. They can really go. That's all, everything we're seeing is just one kick of their tail. Yeah, basically. And they only come up this time of year, they come in this backwater to get warm because the main part, so they're migratory, you know what I mean? So they're back here in this warm water. This is when people come down to view them. Once they get out into the big river, out into the, they're harder to find, you know? Now, aren't, isn't there somewhere that's like super, super clear? There is, there's a place, I think it's called Blue Springs or Crystal Blue Cove yeah. or something. There's a place not far from here off the river where you it's basically like a swimming pool. Yeah. And you can walk up and down a trail and see them. And they only go there during this time of year. They're there in the winter time. They go up there to winter. Um, but you know, they have a lot of problems because people run them over with boats by accident. Oh, but it's an issue. It's an issue and a lot of their uh, grass that they eat, mm -hmm. unfortunately Florida sprang a lot of that grass. So okay. it's, it's caused, some of them are having trouble, you know, finding as much food, but definitely one of their biggest issues is boat accidents. Look at that old Mark. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> huh? Might be, be a pound and a half. Got it? Give me a report. One, five, four. That's pretty close to 
found a have one. Yeah. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, sir. Old trick step tricked him one. Come on in here with him, Mark. That's a good one. Yes, sir, that buddy. That might go too. <laughs> that might weigh a pound three quarters. <laughs> trick step done tricked him another one. One six three. One six three. There he is, right there, y'all. I knew Mark finally catch one. Cause he's one of them professional fishermen. <laughs> now, Mark, how long have you been fishing tournament? I started fishing tournaments in 1976. Golly! So, so however long ago that was. That's a day or two ago, you know? That, it's been a while. I actually took a uh, probably 25 year break. Let me catch that in first. Well, darn it, he got off. Uh, it, a 25 year break. Yeah, when I, well, from tournament fishing. Yeah. I was crew chief in NHRA drag racing and you can't fish tournaments and race for a living. Right. So, took a hiatus from fishing and then in 03 I started back and actually fished my first, uh, what's now the Toyota series in 04, 2004. Right. Oh, I've been earned. And been hitting it pretty hard ever since. You got him, Ben? Yeah. With a better one? He's a little bit better, but he's not a real big one. Easy. Well, don't let him get away. We need to have him. Easy. God, what a crappie. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. Well, it ain't a bass, but that's still, I don't know. We might want to weigh him anyway. I mean, he's going to be the biggest one that we've caught. Golly, what a crappie. A speck, a sack of late. Uh, <laughs> what, what else do they call them? I don't know. Crappies? I, I think they call them dinner, don't they? Yes. <laughs> yes. If we weren't about to leave and head back to Tennessee, we're going to weigh him and write him down just in case. <laughs> 1.45. <laughs> Wow. On a wacky worm. <laughs> he was so black when he first came up. I was like, shoot, that's just a, a bass. Uh, I've seen some bigger, but that's that's a good one. That's a good one. A grown one. There's one. Good one. That that's might keeper. Keep. Yes, sir. There you go. That'd be yeah. five. That's a keeper. That's right. That's a limit. Oh, watch. <laughs> 116. Okay. You got him. Another St. John's River bass. 116, you can see it right there. Look at here. You got one? Little, 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 little. I don't think he's gonna help. He might. You got one too? Well, sure. Double. You caught one, I was supposed to catch one. I believe one of them a color 103, don't you? My dog bigger than your dog. You think? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. 123. 123. Wait a minute, I gotta reset them. Okay. Got it? Yep. Got it. 119. We got a 116. We got a 116 and a 103. Yep, so we got, what's yours weigh? 123. All right. Are you believing this? That's crazy. I mean, take all day and not hardly get a bite, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. I think that's some. Big him. Got him. Got him. Mikey catching biggins. Boat flip him. There we go. We have caught a one pound pluser. Yeah, finally. Nicely done, young man. Nicely he was, done. He was talked back in there pretty shallow. Must have been on the bank. He was on the bank, up, up underneath that tree. Oh, we got us a big one. 1.16 pounds. 1.16. Nicely done, Mike. I suppose we better write that one down, huh? Yeah. Not on the bank, but way back underneath that lay down. Really? Yeah, definitely on a piece of wood. He wasn't on grass. You don't want to go through life um, 
looking for Friday to paycheck. You want to do something that you want to do that you enjoy doing and that you look forward to going to work doing. There's a ton of different opportunities out there. So go find your passion. You've got to get up. You've got to work at it every day to, uh, to make anything like that happen. And these guys will tell you the same thing. Whatever it is, go find your passion, work hard at it, and you can really be excited to go to work tomorrow. If you want something in life, go out and get it. Um, it's definitely possible with hard work and dedication. Um, I think everyone can do that. When you guys get out of here, you'll start meeting people with all kinds of backgrounds. And when you do, you never know who they know that's gonna be a contact that's gonna turn into something else. And those things just add up over time. And um, can't say it enough, like how you treat people uh, is very important. I worked really hard, got an education, and became a business owner. Getting the education and, you know, finding some way to support your, your passion until you can get to that level is gonna be really, really important. Follow your passion, finish your education. I didn't, uh, I'm, very, I'm very fortunate that I've gotten to where I've gotten in life just by working. The hardest thing you can do is sell yourself. Some people are natural at it, a lot of people really have to work at it, and, and the business side needs to be taken care of. And you can do that if you just if you just take some marketing class. You don't have to get a marketing degree, but you've got to understand marketing, and you've got to understand how to sell yourself. Man, there's one. Got him? Yep, best one yet. Really? I think. Need met? No, I'll swing. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. Getting moving on up now, buddy. <coughs> Over here. There you go. You got him this time? Yep. He's still 242. Okay, that's good. 242. Right there. You got him? Got him. They're getting bigger. Huh. See you, bud. Uh, yep. That gets rid of 119. 242, yep. Well, here we are at the end of the St. John River Trick Step Corporate Cup Championship. Did y'all catch them? Uh, yeah, we caught them. We caught them good. Well, we did not. Well, yeah, we did not. You're right, man. We didn't at all. I don't know. Like, I don't know if this Tennessee boy just ain't got the Florida deal figured out or, or what was going on. Yeah, I'm going to attribute our success to two things. One, we started off the day getting up in the boat with a trick step, got in safely. Yeah. Second, if we didn't have power poles, we probably wouldn't have caught a fish because we pulled down in one spot and made cast after cast and well, caught fish after fish. Well, guys, congratulations. Yes, sir. And Mark. I don't know whether you ever won the Classic or not, but this is right beside of it. So you put that in your office up there, and and we really appreciate you bringing this, this trick step yeah, down. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm as, I'm as, I've got a lot of NHRA trophies on my cabinet. Oh, I bet you do. I'm just as proud of this as any one of them. There you go. There you go. Well, sports fans, that winds up another class on Fishing University. We want to thank Mark Pizer for building us this great trick step and get you in and out of the boat safely. Also want to thank West Volusia County Tourism for having us here on the St. John's River. Hey, we look forward to seeing you right here next week on Fishing University. <laughs>